Here's how to create and send an invoice in PayPal. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I've got to send an actual invoice out in PayPal. So let me show you how to do that. When you are logged into PayPal, I have a PayPal business account you wanna head over to invoicing. If you don't see it here, you can click the down arrow or you can go into business tools. PayPal's always moving things around. So at the time of filming this video, it's right here in the quick links. We're gonna click on invoicing. And then from here, you wanna click on create invoice. All right, so from here, we're going to fill out all of the info. Now on the top right here, you can add a logo, you can add your business information like telephone number, website, address, things like that. Or you can keep it super simple and just have your name and your website. From here, this is gonna give you the number of the invoice. And over here, you can change the currency. Right now it's set to Canada, but a lot of our clients are in the US, so I often have to change this to USD. From here, you wanna enter the email of the person you wanna send the invoice to. After you've done that, you can uncheck this if you're not actually going to be shipping anything. So I'm gonna uncheck that. You can also add additional recipients so you can CC them. And then over here, under items, you wanna add what you're gonna be billing for. All right, so I've got the item name, I've got the quantity, I've got the price, and I've got the description here. Once you've filled all that out, you can scroll down. You can also add another item if you have another item. In this case, it's only one. And don't worry if you see this and there's nothing in there, it won't actually show up on the invoice until you actually put in another one. So it's okay that this is there. You can even X this out if you want to. On the right hand side, you're gonna see the invoice number again. I just let that populate. That basically is the number of invoices that you've sent out. So in our case, it's 641. The invoice date, you can say when it's due, you can change it. You can add a discount on here. You can add another amount. If there's taxes included, you can add the tax. You can also allow for partial payment. So if you click this, you can say the minimum amount due. So let's say if it's half or something like that, you can put that minimum amount here. And this here, this is one of my favorite things is to allow for tip. You can allow people to add a tip on top of what you are charging. And it's pretty cool because many times we've sent out an invoice and people tip us generously and we don't say anything about a tip then when you scroll down you can do a message to the customer so you usually say something like thank you so much looking forward to working together again exclamation mark you can click this for more options. So here you can upload an attachment if you need to, I don't usually. And over here you can write a memo to yourself. So you can say what this is about or anything like that. For me, I don't really need to. When you're all done filling that out, I always click this preview button here, the I, to make sure everything's all good. So this is what the preview looks like. You've got invoice from, the amount, invoice number, the date, you've got the tip option here, payment methods, you've got the item here. When you're all good with that, you're ready to click the send button. And then there you go. The invoice has been sent. It says it's sent. When it's paid, it's gonna show as paid. And so that's how you create and send an invoice in PayPal. If this video was able to help you out, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to know how our YouTube channel makes over five figures a month creating simple tutorials like this, head down to the description below as we'll have a free training for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.